ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we have more Jeep mods. Yes, I did struggle very much at that because those weigh about 70 pounds a side, maybe something like that, 50, 75 pounds. But what those are are rock hard, uh, rock guard side tip steps to slider, rock slider things that are going on the side of the Wrangler. So what that is going to do is cover up this whole panel protected from more damage like that. That's actually just rust, but uh, if you own one of these Wranglers, you know that they all rust there because on the other side, there's the same spot of rust. Now this right here, I did not drill those holes. Those are where the factory plastic uh, fender flare extension goes. You have to remove those three bolts and pull off that fender to get access to this install. You also have to loosen up this bottom flare bolt in there so you can pull that out and get a bolt in there, I believe, as well as here. Now, I have not done that yet for either of them. I heard that's a pain to do. I need this chip to support the weight of that while I line it up and drill the holes. I'm bringing up backup from Jack Jr. because I know that it's going to be way too wobbly on a single jack, so the more the merrier. I just thought of something quick. Before I actually mack this up with clamps and everything and get it up and adjust it, I'm going to just take some quick detailer and clean this whole area because I don't want this bolting on to if there's dirt or something under there, I don't want that to end up uh, coming back and haunting me and rusting on the inside of this. So I'm just going to take some quick detailer and just quickly clean this whole area up. So after some fiddling around, I have the jack holding up some thicker pieces of wood to hold the bottom flush against the body of the Jeep. And I also used a C-clamp as recommended in the directions to hold it flush against the body here. I have my 5 sixteenths drill bit and an electric drill. And I'm going to drill one, two, three, four, five holes through the body. Here we go. So after you've drilled all four of the holes, I'm sorry, five, and Grace gracefully opened the hardware pack. You get one of the short screws. Let's see if that'll focus. One of the short screws, a lock nut, and a washer. The short bolts go through the side of the body. The longer bolts go up through the bottom. You then take your half inch socket and your 3 16 Allen head socket and tighten all five of the bolts down on the side. I'm gonna tighten them about moderately then I'll go about drilling on the bottom, and then after that I'll tighten everything up. So here's a helpful hint to get this last bolt, uh, get the fastener on the back. So, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I took those two bolts out so I could move the fender flare. What you're gonna do is cut a hole in this tape right here. That's only tape, you can cut through it. Then, tape the fastener and the washer to the half inch wrench. You then stick the wrench through the hole, back through that, on the inside of course, and fasten it down. That's the easiest way i found to do it. So once you have the bolts on the side in and fastened tightly, of course as you can see I've removed the jack holding it up, it's holding up on its own power. Surprisingly I didn't screw this up and it looks like it is working. Now you have to drill the bolts on the bottom. There are one, two, three, four, Four. So in order to do that, you gotta pull the carpet and your tool kit all out of the way. So once you have all the holes drilled for the bottom, you just come up top, cut the fasteners through, as you can see there, if the camera will ever focus, right there. One, two, three, and four. You just tighten those suckers up. And now I move to the next side. So as you can see, I'm sweating a little bit. It wasn't 
it wasn't that hard. It was relatively easy if you're all right with drilling through the body of your Jeep, but I mean, it was bound to happen at some point. Okay guys, so that finally concludes the install on these. As you'll notice, uh, the roof is now on and so are the doors. And the reason for that is because it's going to rain. So I just finished in the nick of time, both these side steps. They support my weight fine, so uh, anyone else who is putting these on, these on their Jeep should be pretty good. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this install video at least was uh, helpful, if not just entertaining, watching me struggle with this. So give it a thumbs up if it helped you. Give it a thumbs down if I'm an idiot and this looks stupid. And I will see you guys in the next video.